Good evening. This video is proudly sponsored by Skillshare. Now, I have to say, this is an application that I think you could find real benefit from. If you find yourself at 10, 15 minutes free, instead of wasting it on social media, how about you look up one of the seemingly infinite courses on Skillshare? Now, it's an app that brings to you learning in bite-sized chunks. Let's say, for example, you wanted to learn how to uh, start garden illustration, something very, very random. Maybe you'd like to learn DSLR photography. Perhaps you'd like to learn about investments something very close to my heart. In fact, one of the courses I just did recently was called Essential Lighting Skills by Lucas Gonzalez. And I'd like to think it's made a very tangible impact to my channel. It's all there on Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to click the link below get one month for free. Check it out. Enjoy the video. Take care. It's good to see you. Hi. Come in and take a seat with me here. First and foremost, thank you for choosing Articulate Sugars. Now, if you are hosting or um, planning for any kind of uh, large-scale social gathering, Maybe it's a mixer of some kind or... Okay, function. You don't have to attend the function, do you? Even better. Even better. Some people like these large social gatherings. Um, I'm not one of them. I much prefer smaller, closer social interactions where it's just a bit quieter and you can have time to think. Absolutely. But thank you for choosing us today. I don't know if you've prepared um, a sugar selection with us before. No, but you're familiar with the process. Okay. Well, just to give you a bit of a recap, we will be sampling selection of some of our most decadent sugar selections. And the idea is to help cultivate the perfect banquet for your dessert card. Now, we obviously spoke on the phone prior and have a rough idea what we're looking for, so we've custom made some of our finest donuts for individually created Two of our sugar pots, which I think you're going to like. I say think to show modesty. I know you're going to like them. And finally, we put together you dust us for a banoffee. And I think you're going to like what we've made for you. Okay. Now our tasting, um, we have a bit of a unique approach. My friends hate me because I essentially get paid to sit here and sample some of the most delicious sweet treats the world has to offer. But we serve up two identical boards. So there'll be a tasting board of four donuts, two sweet pots, and the banoffee pie. And we'll have one each, and we'll work our way around each of the offerings. And we discuss the ingredients, 
flavor profile and how it might balance amongst your dessert board. Sound good? Okay, now I think we'll start with one of the sugar pots and you can eat this however you like for the donuts especially I like to try and preserve a modicum of uh, integrity and I usually opt for the fork but if you wish to use your fingers or a spoon take your choice of cutlery no judgment from my side all we're doing today is tailoring your gourmet sugar experience but before we dip into our first sugar pot quite important that we have a nice refreshing cooling water to uh, you know the guy that provides this water this guy called Matt and I've never in my life yeah, seen a man talking about cleansing of the palate quite as much as he does. He emphasizes the importance of having a clean palate to uh, savor the subtle nuances that varies dessert to dessert. And in keeping with this, the water is blended with a slight Which actually I find complements all of the dishes quite well, but certainly will not overpower. Okay. Now your first sugar pot. Your first sugar pot. Now this is a double chocolate caramel sundae. Now, we actually infused a piece of fruit into the Belgian chocolate. I'll let you try and... You can smell it. Strawberry. Now, something of an unusual pairing. Chocolate, strawberry. No, it isn't. But I invite you. Try. Wow. Now, let's drink two spoonfuls. Try and get a little bit of the strawberry. No. <laughs> for your first impression. There's a creamy, a very creamy strawberry flavor underpinned by the finest Belgian chocolate. Absolutely. The biscuit base is so light, so crumbly. It's almost as if it isn't there. What 
I'd like you to do if you can. I've captured your initial description. And if you could, I'd like you to grade it out of 10. And of course, we you don't need to finish. You, you can finish if you like. Um, my leftovers go back in to uh, the kitchen. And my wife and I, my family, will uh, eat very well tonight. <laughs> because while I do love my job, I'm here in a professional capacity to aid and assist you. And as I said, completing and accomplishing the perfect. Okay, I did that much. Excellent. I think I'll have one more bite because um, the strawberry with the chocolate is just... Such a pleasant berry. together in this beautiful little ensemble and the four kind of primary flavors come together as a whole it's quite a complex flavor profile and it's not something you'd expect from um, a simple chocolate and cream mellow but with the strawberry Biscuit and the cream. I think we accomplished something quite wonderful. As our good friend Matt would say, we cleanse the palate. He also impresses on us the importance of fresh water and highly mineral. you're drinking one of the finest waters uh, you can find in our country I personally uh, I have a great and deep appreciation for culinary delights water maybe some of the flavors are lost on me a little bit just don't tell him that please okay I think we'll take the uh, banoffee pie next because it's got fresh cream and we don't want it to melt <laughs> all right i will present to you our banoffee pie now these are served as an individual absolutely gorgeous crumbly crust It holds together even in heat, but it's soft enough just to, you can just break it if you wanted to. And the top is dusted in a very, very light, very light sprinkling of pecan. Okay. Of course, um, two of our dishes here contain nuts that'll be in the pecan we also have a cashew donut that you're going to absolutely love okay let's try now unfortunately in all my years of conducting our tasting sessions i have yet to discover the optimal way of breaking a banoffee pie maybe you can start with a bit of the cream really quite wonderful mm. I'm just going to tease this little portion out it's quite a delicate operation really mm. and you can see
see the yellow of the banana and it's actually blended with the toffee and somehow our chefs have kept what is quite often an overly sugary offering and they've found a way to make it light Possibly Moorish. There's almost a slight bitterness to the banana, but it makes for the most delicious flavor profile. And that toffee that just sits at the base there. crystallized dark brown sugar combines with the banana the cream with the diced nuts again this is why we are the best <laughs> and we're always refining our recipes. We had a client ordering a banoffee pie as part of their their servings just six months ago. And this tastes even nicer than prior. And let me tell you, prior was outstandingly delicious. Let's have a little bit more. <laughs> we have a long way to go. Absolutely. World class. I really sincerely hope you are getting as much enjoyment from that as I am. I know for sure that you are. Take a moment and please, if you want to finish the pie, you are welcome. If you want me to get you a second, I can have it at the kitchen within about six minutes. Okay. The banana, rather the banoffee pie, with a dark brown sugar base. say that I'm surprised but our chefs will be most pleased I know a lot of time and effort has went into really bottoming out and detailing out the recipe I think for maybe quite a while a couple of years at least the banoffee pie was something that we made well but we didn't make it brilliantly something of a pain in the side, a thorn in his shoe to our head chef. Wonderful. Okay. If you need some more water, please just let me know. We'll get you topped up. Okay? Good. Now, I think it's time that we make our way to our four kings, as they're playfully referred to in our kitchens. And each of these kings.
comes with its own dominion of flavor. Before we begin, I'll just talk you around the board. To our immediate side, we have the classic wheezing jam or jelly donut. And when we say wheezing, allow me to Give you a closer look. You can maybe just make out the jelly or jam oozing out of the side of one of the filling holes. And it oozes because it is packed full of a beautiful. Makes for a little messy eating, but again, flavor profile. We move along one square, and you'll come to our Black Forest Gato Donut. Black Forest Gato. And the Black Forest, I think, is typified by the literal cherry on top. And even the cherries are glazed and soaked in beautiful, beautiful Irish cream liqueur. Now, I'm not a fan of alcohol, but this cherry is mind-bendingly tasty. And it is the crown of what is an otherwise very well-established and very well-made. The Black Forest Gato, for us, combines a dark German chocolate infused with another cherry liquid glaze. Touch of vanilla cream on top. And our vanilla pods are aged for years. There is so much flavor in this donut, you will not know what to do with yourself. We move along. And we have our cashew. Cashew donut. And having cashew nuts on a donut is never something I would have thought we'd be advocating for. Sometimes we just have to try something just to see if we can make it work. And for whatever reason, now our donuts are all eggless. They're actually all entirely vegan. Not for any other reason than we want as many people to be able to enjoy our donuts as possible. As it turns out, we found this was the tastiest approach. It just so happens. To be vegan. Now finally we have our coffee cream glazed donut. Now I can tell you that the coffee cream a lot of people don't like coffee. In fact almost half of our patrons do not like coffee. I remember actually our perhaps now our oldest and most trusted client was adamant that she would not have a coffee cream in any of her desserts because she couldn't stand coffee. And I think part of this just um, encouraged our chefs. So they crafted and uh, cultivated this delicate, alluring truffle cream. I can't wait for you to try it. Just you wait. In fact, let's start with it, shall we? Let's start 
with our coffee cream. Again, you can eat this however you like. For me, it's a fork in the middle. Sometimes from, from the side. can just make out the puncture wound for the cream. Now I know that has a suggestion of coffee. So I enjoy coffee. But I know that if I didn't this wouldn't be uncomfortable for me because it's supported by this truffle cream. The actual body of the donut is soft, it practically melts. It doesn't even melt, it, it melts with your mouth. It's this beautiful coating of sugary sweet bliss. It's just coupled wonderfully by that truffled coffee cream. Truly an absolute marvel. An absolute marvel as far as I'm concerned. I feel I need to take at least one more bite from that coffee cream center. Truffled coffee cream was it a delight to your senses, a taste sensation. I'll remember that. And the scoring, really high praise indeed. I agree, though. It's a it's a very special donut. It really is. I don't know if we can ever hope to top it, but let's just try and um, maintain. Set the bar very high there. Of course, it'll be featured for sure. Excellent, let's um, resume. I think we should change things up a little bit here and go to our weeping jam donut. Something of a classic with a powdered sugar finish. And it really is just. Mm, the sweetest. Mm, I cannot wait to try this donut. This is actually my, my personal favorite. Simple man of simple means. Again. Absolutely marvelous. Beautifully loaded. If we just lift up our fork, it's loaded with a gentle powdered sugar. And that gorgeous strawberry preserve. Wow. 
month is so sweet and so good. I have to have another bite, I'm afraid. Let me talk you through exactly what you're tasting here. A sugar-rich preserve. Now, it isn't anywhere near as loaded with sugar as it tastes. A lot of what you're getting here is the natural fructose from the strawberries. And these are grown in our own garden. The body of this donut is actually a little lighter to offset that extra sugariness. Really. series of flavors. The body of the donut actually has a, a secret ingredient to it that my chefs always uh, demand I promise never to reveal. But I think you can be trusted. The ingredient makes um, no sense whatsoever and has no business being in the batter of a donut. It's actually cardamom seeds. Cardamom seeds. And this isn't wild unusual to find cardamom in desserts, but never in batter, never in the body of a donut. And it's a very small amount. Playing with the taste buds again, and they're glazed perfectly by the preserve. Wow, oh, that was um, that was wonderful. Again, my absolute favorite. Mm. Truly. very tasty. <laughs> Glad you said so. That lemon twist working surprisingly well. after my own heart. Again, the strawberry donuts are, I think, a little bit undervalued. I say that lightly, very lightly, because everyone who tries them loves them. But they don't, they don't sound elaborate. I don't feel like it's ostentatious, but that card takes the most simple donut, most simple jelly jam donut in the world, and it takes it up a level. The 
rest of the world serving your, attempting to serve your sweet drinks. They're here. Articulate sugars. We're up there. <laughs> Apologies for the arrogance. We are enormously proud of our products, as we are of our customers. Okay, two more to go. And the next, I think, is probably the richest and the most flavor intensive donut that we offer of all our donuts, not just these four. The Black Forest is um, it's a cornerstone of cakes and bakes all over the world. Now you'll notice the body of this is a little bit squishier. It's a little bit of a different, different texture. And the chocolate, just here, this is triple layer chocolate. And it's actually a milk chocolate with a very thin dark chocolate covering. It's a 99% cacao with a 30% milk chocolate on layer one and two. Again, don't forget that beautifully soaked cherry on the top. But let's start at the side. Now this is a much drier donut, not uncomfortably so, clearly, enormously tasty, but the consistency is completely different. If I just pop this here, it's a very similar consistency to a shoe pastry, but just much thicker. I will take an embarrassingly large bite here. That is gorgeous. The cream and its unique little twist. That beautiful body. The thick triple chocolate. And that 99% cacao really adds a little bit of acidity that it needs to equal out the sugar and the sweet of the cream. I think that might be the tastiest, most inviting bite we'll have this evening. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Really a perfectly balanced donut. And we have it third because of where it sits in this complete ocean of flavors ocean of textures. The Black Forest is always our penultimate donut. It doesn't always have to be prior to the cashew, but it's always our second to last. Always. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Join this later. Mm. 
Okay. Let us pop in a little review here for our Black Forest Don't. Okay. Your first impressions of the Black Forest. Mm -hmm. Very intense, exactly. And so that's further typified by the 99% cacao. And it's very thin covering, I must say. The layer one and two of the milk is very thick uh, and should be overpowering actually, but the raw acidity of the 99% really just, um, again, creates the perfect amalgamation. Okay. All right. How are we feeling? Get a little bit more space, just a little bit. One donut to go, and then we'll finish with our final sugar pot. Now, the cashew. The cashew donut took a long time reaching us because we, we, we couldn't make it work. We knew there was potential. There was the whisperings of a beautiful flavor profile, but we just couldn't quite nail it down. Until we did. <laughs> and the secret, and this is actually unbelievable, the cashews are soaked very briefly in a vinegar and molasses bath. I have no idea why it works. I don't know the science behind it in this case. I actually know a little bit of why. But um, vinegar is actually used as a secret ingredient in quite a few desserts. Maybe most famously, sticky toffee pudding. And if you've never heard of sticky toffee pudding, I suggest you uh, Google it when you get home. I think it originates in Scotland. But vinegar makes the toffee sauce unique. Let us try. And again, the body of the donut is more akin to the black forest than chew pastry, but, but it's a little bit thicker. Mm. The cashews. Still don't understand entirely why it works. Just that it does. And the crunch. Now the cashews are roasted. They sit in the bath and then roast it again. Twice roasted cashews have a tendency to lose a lot of its moisture, be a little bit too dry. But the bath in between rehydrates and it fills the cashew with a flavor that I said it shouldn't work, but it does. <laughs>
Delicious. Indeed. Really one of the, the more unique sugar offerings that we have. Just because the the different flavors are just so so comfortable, but yet still so interesting. And this is why I love my job. You and I get to sit here and deliberate and really think about what we're eating, what we're tasting. And the best news is there's one more to go. Okay. Last but by no means least. This, this is a peanut butter and s'mores sugar cup. Now, um, if you remove the lid, you'll be greeted by an intense and entirely powerful peanut butter. Yes, the roasted marshmallows, the s'more biscuit base, I'm very excited for you to try this, it's sticky, it's playful. Let's give it a go. Mm. And there's actually a little roof of chili and chocolate beets. If you can just about make them out. Try them. Now to me, that takes me back to being a kid. And almost taking the first bite of a piece of toast with a huge lathering of peanut butter. But instead of the crunch of boring bread, more mixture rushes in behind it and rather than replacing the peanut butter it seems to merge okay rolls over the tongue and peanut butter and s'mores at the same time Absolutely. Magnificent. I'm glad to hear you like it. It's a very popular offering. And if you can make it right to the bottom, there's a different layer of peanut butter. And it's actually crafted in a different way. It isn't blended anywhere near as tough. But it still retains that silky smooth. That silky smooth texture that we've come to associate the articulate sugar pods with. Hmm. Absolutely. 
absolutely. Delicious. So, <clears throat> you and I have been on something of a culinary expedition. Would like to give me your thoughts on the peanut butter shmore sugar pot. Mm -hmm. Have you considered reviewing making a YouTube channel for your descriptions of food. <clears throat> a decadent array of flavors, indeed. If I could spell decadent. Okay. Okay. So everything that we put together here, you're happy to take forward Okay. I'm not surprised, but um, it's always it's always nice to hear that um, it's very very rare actually. In fact, in all the years I've been I've been guiding these tasting sessions, I think we've had four rejections. Um, I mean, four total, not um, four different people with more than one rejection. But they were always for reasons other than the taste. Usually it was um, an allergy base, or occasionally I think there was one of the four that didn't really like what we were putting together, um, which I have never seen since, so I can only assume that is uh, an anomaly. An anomaly, not an anomaly. Okay. All right. Well, we'll finalize the numbers in a couple of weeks when you're RSVP'd up. But now that we know the offering, um, we can cater as we always can to any number that you need. Mm -hmm. Of course, everything is served fresh on the day. Everything is finalized in the morning. Nothing is made the night prior. Um, everything is made for the day. And I can say this is one of the rare kitchens I've seen that do this. There's usually a lot of, uh, at least half of the offerings made the night before. And they sit and they are not the same. They're old. Um, they lose that je ne sais quoi. So it serves them fresh. And in all honesty, uh, in the interest of full transparency, it is a challenge to, to deliver that many meals um, all in the same day, or rather all in the same morning. But that's how we operate. I think it, it's part of the package that we offer to our clients. And I think everyone attending is going to be more, more than satisfied hopefully delirious with satisfaction and happiness okay guys get you two signature here please thank you your signature is even better than mine <laughs> okay it's all finalized for you i'd like to thank you again for choosing articulate sugars if you need to make any changes or any additions to your order, you call me, you email me, you text me, I'll get back to you immediately. Okay? And again, yeah, just whenever you're ready, let's firm up those numbers and we'll, uh, we'll get on it. Thank you.
from me in our kitchen.